having a really hard time getting on camera and focus guys my lens is like bugging out today but i hope that you can see me hey guys welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel i'm asia and go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can get notifications for more videos so if you tuned into my last video you would know that this bad boy back here was a diy and i'm here today to do another diy Today, what I'm doing today is a Polaroid picture frame. I'm not sure if that's what to call it. I just kind of made that name up just now. Oh my gosh, guys. Don't you love how my hair just grew so fast? <laughs> so, this hair is by, uh, the company's name is Royal Prerogative, but the person that created, the CEO, like the owner, I guess, the maker of this brand is Marie Antoinette. Maria Antoinette, she's also a YouTuber. I don't know if you guys know who she is or if you follow her, but she's a YouTuber. I love her. I've been following her for years. She used to do the, um, well, I think she still does, the Big Chop Hair, who's also on YouTube and also on Instagram. She used to do the Big Chop Hair tutorials, and I bought some Big Chop Hair because then I seen how she rocked it, and I was like, ooh, I gotta rock it. It was like some natural hair, and I loved it. And when she came out with her own line, hairline, I was like, yes, I can trust you. And I can because I love her. This is called the Brook. Guys, this is not a hair tutorial. This is not, this video is not about my hair. I just love this hair. Like every weekend, if I have somewhere to go, which is not often, I throw her on. I just love her so much. I'll put the link in the description below. When I got it, it was much bigger. And I'm, I have a little head, I feel like, so I had to just cut it down a little bit. And it was just how I wanted it. But I love it this way. All right, back to the video. This video was not about hair. But I just thought I'd got let you guys know who I'm working, who I'm rocking. This is Brooke. Say hi, Brooke. <laughs> All right, so today I am doing a frame that I made for my daughter's bedroom. Pretty much everything in my daughter's bedroom is DIY. And I will... I keep saying I'm gonna go through a video of everything that I've done in her room, and I promise you I will. So. So I spray painted the frame gold. Make sure you get the outside of the frame, you get the inside, you get every corner, even the bottom. Make sure you get every corner, guys. Now guys, I only used a small can of spray paint because I knew that this project was very small. If you're working on something a little bit bigger, please do not use such a small can of spray paint because you will not have enough. You want to make sure you let it dry completely for at least 24 hours before you go ahead and handle it. Okay, you want to start off by just removing the back of the frame and the cardboard, even the glass. You don't need any of those things make sure you just have the frame so you take your twine or your string whatever string you're deciding to use and you just measure the space between the frame you want to make sure you have a good grip on the actual frame while you're gluing now you after you put some glue on the frame you lay the string directly on top of the glue you want to just press down on it a little bit. You want to leave some string hanging off the tip of the frame. Just so when you tug on it, it's not pulling completely off of the frame. So you want to make sure that you cut the string a little bit longer than the frame. Just so you don't make a mistake and cut the string too short. You can cut off the excess string after you're done gluing it down. Make sure when it's time to glue down the other side of the string that the string is completely even. You don't want the string to be lopsided because then that means your photos are going to be lopsided. I like to take a piece of tape and put it on top of the piece of string that I just glued down just to give it some extra support until it dries completely. You don't have to keep the string on once it dries but I like to keep it in place with a piece of tape. Before you cut off the end of the strings, this is how your first string should look. And the string should be a little bit bouncy. It shouldn't be wobbly. If it's loose, that means you did not glue it on tight enough. Now you want to go ahead and just cut off the ends of the strings to the end of the frame so it has a nice clean look and there's no strings dangling. So you have a good idea of where you should start your next string. 
you should take one of your Polaroid photos and just clip it on the top string. After you clip on the picture, you want to just eyeball it and really it's up to you how far apart you want each row from the next row. I would like my string to be very, very close to the bottom of the photo. Just so I have enough space to put another row of strings. So you're just going to go ahead and repeat the same method that you did at the top. You're going to glue the frame and you're going to put string on top of that glue and just add a little bit more glue to the top of the string. to just blow on the string a little bit just so it can dry a little quicker and I can get on this process a lot faster. And this is how it should look after you put on the second row of string. What you're going to do now is move the photo down to the second row so you can go ahead and see where your next string is going to go. done putting on the last string you want to just clip the photograph to the bottom string and just make sure that it's in the right spot for you. I didn't mind that the photograph was kind of cut off at the bottom. I liked the way it looked once it was done. Now that you are completely finished you can start arranging your photographs exactly where you want them to be. That's when the clothes pins come in handy. Put just three at the top, just two at the top, you can even try to squish in as many photos on the actual frame as possible. I just mix my photos around a little bit so it's not too crowded. Okay guys, so here is the finished product. I hope you love it. I love it. This is the second one that I made. The first one I made is hanging in Sarai's bedroom. So this is the one that I made in Sarai's room. I used a staple gun for this one instead of glue just because this frame was a lot much stronger. Alright, well, thanks for watching my video guys. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I will